All right, so a few days ago, someone posted a question into one of the Serato groups on Facebook, and they asked, what do you use to find new tracks? Believe it or not, one of the more common sources that I see people using today is Spotify. There's a growing number of organizations and people creating playlists that actually seem to be pretty decent. The downside of this technique is that some of these playlists can be massive, and not too many people have the time to sit down and listen to hundreds of tracks back to back. The solution to this is to split those tracks up into incremental sizes by day or by week based on when those playlists change. This is known as curation. So today I'm going to show you a curation technique that I use within Spotify to keep track of how those playlists change over time. Of course, the first thing we're going to have to do is find a playlist that we want to follow. For our demonstration, let's go ahead and find one of the billboard lists. We'll go ahead and search for billboard. And then we'll click on the list we want to follow. So now we're at the first step. We need to follow the playlist. We can do that quite easily by clicking the follow button. As soon as we do that, Spotify will add it to our list of playlists. Anytime this list is updated from this point forward, we'll get a notification letting us know that tracks have been added or removed. Step two is to create a playlist that contains all of today's current tracks. We'll do this by selecting all of the tracks and adding them to a new playlist with today's date. All right, so I've selected all the tracks, I've added them to a new playlist, and I've renamed that playlist. The name that I've chosen is the exact same name of the playlist, but I've appended a date in year, month, day format. And the reason why I've chosen that format for the date is it's easier to list it. If I list it alphabetically or numerically or chronologically, it's going to show up in the exact same order. All right, so step three is to create another playlist the exact same way that we've created this one, except this time we're going to list it as all. And we're doing this so that we can track all of the tracks forever. Sounds a bit weird, but it will make sense in a second. All right, so now we have the playlist that we're following that we'll never touch. We have the playlist that will contain all of the tracks forever. And we have a playlist with today's tracks. So let's talk about how we're going to use them. Whenever a change is noticed by Spotify, the playlist that we're following is going to be updated. Tracks are going to be added and tracks will be removed. Anytime that happens, we'll go into that playlist. We will select all of the tracks in that playlist and we're going to add them to the all playlist. All right, so why do we do this? Well, pay attention to this second column from the right. As tracks are added or removed from the playlist, Spotify is going to track when those tracks are added to that playlist. And this is really what makes this whole technique work. Because we can see when that track was actually added to the playlist, we'll be able to see when that change took place. And that is what gives us the playlist with the date. If tracks are added tomorrow, let's say on March 8th, when we come in here, we'll be able to see that there's a new set of tracks for March 8th. Now you might be thinking, it's gonna be a real pain to sit here and dig through these tracks, and you're absolutely right. And that's why we have the all playlist. Let's swing down to one of the playlists I've been following, and I think it'll make a little bit more sense. So here we have Billboard Hot 100. We've organized them into folders, but as you can see, the structure is exactly what we created a couple seconds ago with the other playlist. When we followed it, it created the one at the top, Billboard Hot 100 by Billboard. We created the second playlist with the all keyword on it. That's where we're gonna see all of the changes forever. This is the playlist that gives us the ability to track the changes over time. And then anytime we've noticed a change, we've created the individual playlist with the actual date. So let me show you how we use them. First, let's go into the playlist that we're following. Now we can scroll through this playlist and find the individual changes, but that's gonna be a pain in the butt. So let's use Spotify to track those changes for us. We're gonna start by selecting all of the tracks in this playlist, just like we did before. Next, we're going to add these tracks 
to the All playlist. And this is where it gets cool. As soon as we do that, Spotify is going to see that we already have a good number of these tracks in here, and it's gonna ask us if we'd like to skip those duplicates. And that's where this starts making sense. So we're gonna continue by telling it, yes, let's skip the duplicates. All right, so what's just happened is we've added all of the tracks that Billboard Hot 100 has in it, but we've skipped all of the tracks that already exist in that all playlist. Now, if we scroll through this list, we can see that some of these tracks have been added just a few seconds ago. And these are the tracks that we want. So let's select the top or bottom of the list, depending on how you have it sorted. And we're selecting the one that says that it was just recently added. Then we're gonna scroll and find the last track that fits that criteria, the last track that was just added. Now, once we have them all selected, we're going to create a new playlist with just this selection. And here we have it. We're gonna rename that playlist and we're going to use today's date. Then we'll drag it into position. Now, if we go into that playlist, as you can see, we only have the 67 songs that were added since the last time I checked up with this playlist. Now, 67 songs, you might be thinking, man, that's, that's still a lot of tracks. That's because I don't really look at this playlist all that often, I probably should, but if you look at the other playlists that have the dates, you'll see that there's only one or two tracks that have changed every single time I've gone in there. 25 songs, 18 songs, 27 songs, 34 songs, 97 songs. So as you can see, if I were to check this every week and create a playlist every week, I'm only gonna have the few tracks that have changed during that week. And here's the other benefit. This all playlist, well, it's gonna to continue to grow every single time a track is added. So if we look at it, we'll be able to see that over a period of time, here's all the tracks that Billboard has added to this list forever. Let's do this one more time with another playlist just to make sure that it hits home. All right, so here we have the dance pop playlist from Spotify. We'll select the playlist. And as you can see, there's 85 tracks currently in this playlist. The All playlist has 89 tracks. Now, I don't know if anything's changed, but we're gonna go ahead and go through this process just to see if something has changed since the last time we were in here. So we'll go into the playlist that we're following, we'll select all the tracks, and we'll add it to the All playlist. As soon as we're prompted to skip the duplicates, we'll select yes or skip duplicates. And now when we go into the all playlist, we can see there's a bunch of tracks that have changed. And we can see that the last time we were in here looking at these changes, we're back in November 14th. So we'll select all the tracks that we just added. We'll add them to a new playlist. And then we'll rename that playlist with today's date. All right, so let's recap. What do we have? We have three sets of playlists. The first playlist that we have is the one that we actually followed. This is the one that's going to change and that we're never gonna to touch. We simply follow the playlist and the changes will pop up whenever Spotify detects a change have been published. Next, we've got the all playlist. And this is where we're gonna add all of the tracks from that followed playlist every single time we wanna go in here. This is also where we're gonna skip the duplicates. And then we have the playlist with the dates. And these dates signify when that change was actually made. All right, so one more time really quick.
Find the playlist you're following. Select all the tracks in the playlist. Add them to the All playlist. Skip the duplicates. That's step one. Step two, go into the All playlist and find the tracks that were just added a few seconds ago. Select those tracks and add them to a new playlist. Then rename that playlist with today's date. And drag it into position. The end result is we have a list of playlists that allow us to show the incremental changes that took place in this playlist each week or each month that you'll go in here. If you do this every Friday, for example, you'll have a weekly list of the changes that it took place in that playlist. So if you're tracking one of the billboard lists, for example, you'll see the top tracks in that list for that week. I hope this helps. This is my technique for using Spotify for curation. Ah.